YouTube. This is Cat from On the Balcony with Cat. Yep, I'm back. Um, and I have just finished inoculating every single house plant and plant that I have alive on the balcony and everywhere else with beneficial mites. These are predatory mites. You're probably not going to be able to see them because they're microscopically tiny. But I have, um, Pretty much just release them, literally, into every container I've got, inside and out. So I've put a little bit in every single container because I am sick and so very tired of fruit flies, fungus gnats what have you. I even dumped some in a empty bin that I've just been that's got soil in it that I've just been tossing plant scraps in that I haven't taken out to my um, uh, out to my uh, compost bin. So, you know, there we go. I have put them in everything. I have put them in the container that I am using to begin growing my own ginger in, even. I've put them in to a container that I've got where I have a single stalk of bamboo growing. Because every bit of potting soil I've got has got fungus gnats. And I'm sick of them. I'm tired of them. I'm getting rid of them. Okay, maybe you can see them here. Um, those little white specks that are moving are the predatory mites. I'm using a magnifying glass to look for them in my ginger planter. But at the moment, they've got the only place I can actually see them is on this little paperweight type thing I've got sitting in the middle of the planter. But those are my predatory mites. And I'm hoping they are hunting hungrily for fungus gnat larva and other nuisance insect larva. Out on the balcony. Sorry about the shaky handwork. I have inoculated, like I said, each and every container I have with a little bit of these fungus gnat destroying predatory mites. Every single container, every plant that I've got. Oh, that's my apple tree, by the way. It's doing quite lovely. All but the fungus gnats. Anyway, I have inoculated everything from my blackberry to my fruit trees to my blueberries to my avocado tree to my mint that's starting to come back. To my other blueberries, to the container that has a single solitary rainbow, uh, not rainbow, rainbow radish? I don't know. Watermelon radish, that's what it was, that came up that apparently hadn't come up last year. It's come up on its own this year. And my Spanish black radish that I decided to plant this year. I added it to the container that they're in. I added them to my strawberries. I added them to the very small bin of potatoes they're growing. And, of course, coming over here to my compost bin, as you're looking at the winterization of my compost bin, once I had spread it on all my other plants, I dumped all the rest of them in here, because, yeah, this is where a lot of those fungus gnats are coming from. But not much longer. So, yeah, I'm done. I'm tired of it. I'm not even going to attempt to pronounce, if I can get it to come into focus, this name. But there were 12,500 of them, supposedly. I don't know how they count them all, but that's, that's pretty much what they figure was in here of these little predatory mites. <clears throat> I 
predator of fungus gnats, thrips, species, and other soil pests. Can be stored for up to two days at 50 to 60 degrees Fahrenheit. Beneficial insectary. I bought these. Uh, da, 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 get it into the camera lens. Get it in focus. I brought the bought these from Evergreen Growers Supply, and I have now inoculated every single plant I've got. And it'll take a little while, cause well, they take a little while to hunt down and eat things. But yeah, it's it's now everywhere on my balcony, and I can say, with all honesty, that their days are numbered. Springtails, thrips, fungus gnats, white flies, they're going to be going bye-bye for good. Thank you. Have a good day. Till next time, may all your gardens grow green.